then Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine himself, is the rightful ruler to Mandalore, since he beat Maul fair and square in a trial by combat, therefore giving him the Darksaber. However, of course that didn't happen. There's a whole bunch of stuff that happened in between his fight with Maul. I encourage you to go read the comic series Son of Dathomir to find out what happened, but essentially we just see it again in Rebels and Maul has it. So if we want to get really technical, then Sidious is the one who owns the Darksaber. But I guess seeing as how he's dead, or I should say dead loosely, then maybe it does belong to Maul, but at the time it didn't. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? In the Mandalorian Season 2 finale, we got a ton of things that I explained in detail in that 16 minute breakdown. One of the things that I'd like to discuss for today's video is in regards to Bo-Katan not being able to take the Darksaber from Din after he yielded. In Star Wars Rebels, Sabine got the Darksaber by basically stealing it from Maul's den, and then she gave it to Bo. Bo was very reluctant and said the same thing to Sabine that Moff Gideon told Din and her. That if you take this, it's an illegitimate win. If you just yield the Darksaber to someone, it's not the same thing as winning it. Basically saying if you give her the Darksaber like this, without a trial by combat, she doesn't automatically get to claim herself as the rightful ruler of Mandalore. The Saber poses no power, but the story does. You have to rightfully fair and square beat the last person who owned it, who fairly beat it from someone else, like Din did to Gideon, Maul did to Vizsla, and so on. Bo eventually accepted the Darksaber from Sabine, and she took it, becoming the leader of Mandalore, uniting her people. She did it without beating Maul, or even facing him, and without fighting Sabine. So when she can't take the Darksaber now in the exact same circumstance from Din, is really confusing to me. Now if we really want to play devil's advocate we can say, okay, well Maul abandoned the saber so to speak and therefore it has no owner so Bo can take it. But I don't really buy into that logic. I guess she couldn't take it because there was a witness who wasn't in favor of her taking it, and perhaps he'd blab about her not being the rightful heir to Mandalore if he ever got out of jail. To me, I'm excited to get more clarification on how they'll explain this in more detail, because right now, it just seems like she could do it in Rebels, but can't do it now and Din offered it to her. Din doesn't care about Mandalore, he doesn't care about that responsibility or the Darksaber. It didn't seem like he even knew about it. What I think will happen in Season 3 is I think she'll either serve next to Din on Mandalore like she did with Pre Vizsla, or they'll have to actually fight. And if she wins, then she gets the Darksaber and rules Mandalore. Maybe they'll come up to some sort of an agreement like, hey, don't kill me, we'll fight and we'll see who wins, and we'll settle this once and for all. Kind of like, you know, the Rocky 3 end fight. Otherwise, Din is the rightful heir, his responsibilities now have his hands full with reuniting a world that was taken and controlled by the Empire for so many years, now stripped bare. I think he'll see Grogu again, but I'm going to cover that in another video, and you know, in the next season we're going to follow the story of Din and Bo taking back Mandalore, while hopefully showing Grogu and Luke training as he builds his temple, unless Luke gets his own show, which would be phenomenal. Let me know what you guys think about the whole Darksaber controversy going around right now. I'd love to know your thoughts because I can't think of a good reason why there's an inconsistency here. It's definitely true. You can't accept the Darksaber if it's just given to you. You have to win it in a trial by combat. That's the rule. That's the story. And right now, Din is the rightful ruler of Mandalore. And also, Bo is a woman of honor. She is not just going to take it and claim herself as the rightful ruler. But she did before. So, again, I'm confused. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching this quick video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.